technical difficulties yesterday and it seems like it didn't uh, stream on Twitch so I'm just gonna double check that everything is working okay seems seems good so uh, yeah let me see the the main channel page as well okay yeah I'm online uh, yeah let me see the... oops cool so yeah because yesterday I streamed for like an hour or something and then I twitch as checked twitch sorry and I couldn't see any trace of my stream so I was probably just speaking uh, for myself but it turns out that it did record the video at least so I can probably upload this to YouTube later in any case I'm gonna go over uh, what I did yesterday quickly just to bring everybody up to speed oh hey tiger demon in the chat room what's up thanks for tuning in so um, okay so first to recap we we're building uh, an Airbnb clone using Vulkan JS and that means a couple things so first having uh, uh, rooms right here and then uh, bookings and uh, reviews so yesterday I was working on the bookings because you know when you book a room so let's take a look at one that's already booked um, probably need to log in first because otherwise we won't see much so sign in okay so this room has a couple bookings so uh, one from um, so this one is an old one it doesn't have check-in dates but this one does so August 2nd to August 4th so if someone else wanted to book the same room again well uh, we want to make sure that they cannot book at the same dates so that's what we were working on yesterday cool yeah so Tiger Demon in the chat saying he came from uh, the reactive flux chat room the discord react chat room it's a really good place to learn react so we're actually gonna do a lot of react not just uh, Vulkan stuff but uh, I mean you know Vulkan uses react so most of the time that's what you'll be coding in so you can probably learn a thing or two so yeah as I was saying so if you don't know Vulkan um, one of the cool things is it can generate forms for you automatically from your uh, data models so that's super handy but yesterday we realized that we couldn't really do that for the bookings form and uh, so that would be this form right here and the reason why is because we want to disallow disallow certain dates for example uh, any date in the past and then if I pick um, you know, August 3rd I also want to disallow anything uh, before August 3rd as the checkout date right you can only check out after you've checked in so to do things like this we decided it was better to create our uh, own form component rather than rely on the uh, pre-made smart form component that comes with Vulkan and that's what we did yesterday so um, here is that form um, so the constructor as usual it has uh, two methods uh, update from date update to date that just do a, a quick set state and on success we redirect to our new booking and we flash uh, a message saying that the booking has been created we have a submit form handler that calls a mutation uh, a GraphQL mutation and then in, in render here we are simply showing two date pickers and here's the part I was uh, talking about where we uh, disallow any date that's um, so or, or rather a date is valid if it's be after yesterday so from today onwards and if it's after whatever is selected as uh, the from date and then finally we had to uh, wrap our components with all the uh, HOCs or higher order components that we need to give it all these uh, features including with new which is the one that makes the 
uh, new mutation mutation available. So that's how we create a new document, in this case, a new booking with the following properties. So that works. Hey, Hakim, also in the chat room. So um, that works. But the other thing we want to do, of course, is disallow a booking for the dates that are already booked. In this case, um, again, this one we can kind of disregard it because it doesn't have dates. I should just delete it, actually. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to uh, go in my d database. And then this would be uh, DB bookings remove pass it the ID. And yeah, it's gone. Nice. So uh, this one, right? This one from again. So this one's August 5th to 15th. So what we want to happen is that when we try to book, these dates will be red. To do that, first we need to get these dates from the server. That's basically the, the main step. So how do we do that? Well, uh, usually in Vulkan you have these um, pre-made uh, resolvers and higher order components that work together so that, for example, uh, um, let's find an example of this here, bookings page. You have with document and you just tell it which collection to uh, look into, bookings, you pass it a terms object which will contain the document ID, and based on these two things, it will give you the document. So it makes data loading super easy. Now, in this case, we can't do that because we don't want to just load every booking for uh, everybody, right? We don't want to expose uh, another user's booking to, to uh, somebody else. So Instead, we will publish just the dates. And to do that, we need a custom resolver and a custom container to go with it. So my custom container will be uh, here with available dates. And uh, first, before I do that, I'll build the custom resolver. So this is a resolver for the bookings collection. So I'll create it here. And um, I already have a custom resolver for rooms. So I can just use that as a template. So I'm probably going to remove all that. So this one was called room search. This one will be called bookings. Well, what should we call it? Actually, because it won't return bookings, so it will return just dates. Um, so actually, does it even need to be in bookings? Hmm. It's not really. Yeah. Let's call it just available dates. And it will actually return an array of dates. Um, wait, is dates a valid type? I'm not even sure. I think actually we just return an array of string and then we'll uh, convert those strings into dates on the client. So uh, what does it take as arguments? Well, we want to know when a room is available. So probably a room ID. By the way, um, streaming seems to really slow down my computer. So I apologize for that. Tried changing the settings, but it didn't do much apparently. Okay, that should uh, be good. So, what do we want to do here? We want to get all bookings for the current room. So. Sorry, I mean, bookings, not room. Bookings, fine, room ID. Okay, and then we want to get the dates. 
for these bookings. Um, so how we want we have uh, right we have two dates we have a uh, uh, start at and end at and we want to convert that into a list of dates so we probably want to do something like initialize an empty array and then loop over uh, so we're gonna fetch to get an array and then do a for each so this will be a booking and I'm gonna check the moment docs to see if there's anything to uh, get a list of dates from two bounds where would that be maybe query um, not really maybe should I define no it's not a duration um yeah I don't think there's something manipulate maybe parse well I'm not saying there isn't something but it will probably be faster to just create the function myself so um, okay let's think about what we want to do so for each booking we want to take the start date uh, which will be booking start at I'll check the the schema to be sure okay start at which is a date so earlier I said that there, there wasn't a date type um, there is no date type oh well, maybe there is there's no date type on the client but there is one on the server it's kind of weird so basically I can probably still return a date but it will just appear as a string on the client so maybe hopefully uh, sometime soon uh, Apple will support dates on the client as well but anyway not a big deal we can always convert it back later so we want to take our start date we probably want to convert it into a moment object so we can manipulate it so I'm gonna just say this m start m for moment m end and now we want to yeah let's use a while so we want to say while um, yeah so while I my iterator is or actually okay no. well and start um, dot add add I days is is um, before and end gonna do two thing I'm gonna So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna okay first add this to dates and increment i and that will do and that should okay okay let's see what this does not 100% confident in my code but you know you do need to start somewhere and uh, to test this out we'll use graphical
just checking out the link from chat. Oh, and it seems everything is back to being super slow for some reason. Oh, okay, yeah, that was, uh, okay, so hey, 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 Victor, in the chat room, someone I recommended, uh, Vulcan.js 2 a while back. So, here's our graphical UI, so, um, let's see, query, uh, Oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot to uh, import this file. Let's import it here. So, bas you, you know, this file, it doesn't necessarily need to go here in bookings because it doesn't return bookings. But, you know, that's the, the closest uh, model that it's related to. So let's keep it here, at least for now. So this is the part where it uh, really slows down, apparently. So I'm sorry about that. Um, probably doesn't make for a very fun stream. But we'll get there. Okay, restarted. Let me reload this and see if the uh, available dates resolver exists. Okay, yeah. Uh, so it takes room ID. Oh, yeah, I, I um, this should be string. This should be the, the first line you specify the type, and then you specify the, uh, the variable. At least I think so, or is it? Yes. And uh, what do we want in return? We want. I think we, we don't want, uh, yeah, I think we can just do that. We don't need, uh, we don't need fields. And then here, this is where our room ID goes. Yeah, this is a bummer, like everything being so slow. This kind of makes the graphical a bit unusable. Okay, room ID and then the ID. And let's see what we get. Okay, probably an error field, error value is not an instance of date. Okay. So interesting. Um, right, because okay, I need to convert this to a date first. Yeah, I think my fan is also spinning pretty hard, so that's also not great for the stream. I'm just streaming on a laptop, like a MacBook Pro, 
Usually it works just fine, but I guess streaming is uh, not something it likes doing. There's probably some other settings I can turn down somewhere. So I'll stop the stream for a couple minutes, see if I can turn down the, the resolution or something, and let's see if it makes any difference. So I'll be back in about five minutes. <laughs> 